Um, these, whatever you want to call them, sacramental plant medicines and substances uh, have immense potential, obviously. Those of us that you know are familiar with them know that. Um, uh, <clears throat> that potential is that uh, um, there's something about them, the way that they work in the human body, uh, that uh, in the right circumstances, and that's really important, we talk about set and setting a lot. Um, uh, in the right circumstances, the right mindset that you bring to it in the right kind of container, um, they have immense potential to um, uh, function as truth serums um, and open us up to uh, what I would say is unconditioned reality beyond the stories that we tell ourselves and other people about what's true and what's not true and so on. This episode, we sit down with author and the lead organizer of the Spirit Plant Medicine Conference, Stephen Gray. Uh, uh, they're not exactly shortcuts to enlightenment um, in the sense that the work still has to be done. We still have to um, unpeel the onion. Uh, you know, uh, and that can be painful work at times. Sometimes people say their best ayahuasca experiences are the ones that were just absolutely fucking horrendous, right? Yeah. I used to go to the Native American church peyote prayer ceremonies down in Washington State mostly. And uh, one of the elders there, a woman named Nancy Littlefish, uh, a very wise person, very intelligent person, and I called her up one time when I was about to write a mission statement for the conference a few years ago. And uh, I said, Nancy, uh, if it were you, what would you want people to know about why we're doing a conference like this? And she said, it's not about the medicines, at least that's not the core issue. The core issue is humanity reconnecting to you know, who we are and what our, our true unconditional or unconditioned relationship is to, you know, plant, planet and spirit, right? He said, he said the way that he thinks of himself, Dennis McKenna said, uh, is I work for the plants, you know, it's like they're the boss, I'm working for them, you know. The vision is that there may come a time when the, um, the status quo of uh, the traje trajectory of this culture, the sort of energy of the kind of mindset of the culture, the, of the dominant, you know, kind of mindset on the planet, you know, that's running business and government and all that thing, kind of thing, um, is crumbling. And there, there, there could come a time, according to this vision, where it's fallen apart enough that the vision for a radically different way of being on this planet uh, can arise and be understood. He was talking about how indigenous people all over the world um, are actually getting their act together um, in terms of under, uh, like rekindling of the, th the threads that have just been barely hanging on of their traditional understanding of their connectedness to the planet. You know, that I mentioned earlier, that's what Nancy Littlefish said, was like why we're doing this all together, right? Um, and, and they're gaining confidence in that vision. And they're sort of looking out at this big madcap race toward whatever we're doing out here and going, whoa, you know, um, there's another way here, you know. Mm -hmm.